I'd like to say I was a good student back then. And no, I wasn't some teacher's pet. I was just a student that hung around in class and tried to pretend I didn't exist, so hopefully no one would bother me. Especially in high school, my anxiety was not having it with those crazy high school students who just seemed to like to gossip and talk about, well, who did who? <laughs> not my thing, but there was a time in my life where I just had some feistiness to myself, I must say. First grade! I was quite the child back then. Apparently I went to the principal a lot. I don't even know why. When I asked my dad about it, he was like, what? So I guess we never told him. She did tell me I was a wild child. I just like making jokes and stuff. So I'm just gonna assume some of that would be with this one kid. So this boy in my class, I'm gonna call him Squash because I always squashed him in every competition. <laughs> okay, but anyway, Squash was super competitive with me in like everything we did. And it wasn't the, oh, oh, you're my love rival. No, 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 no. I hated his guts. Like, nothing about him piqued my interest, but pure hatred. The first grade level of hatred, which is itsy bitsy harmless stuff. He was mean, but it was pretty much like nothing. But he and I were like the smartest people in class though, like pretty smart. We had like a separate group for like taking the spelling test because spelling cat and dog was just too easy. These kids can't even spell, no. <laughs> We spelled stuff like difficult and I'm better than you in every way, shape, and form. <laughs> no, I'm kidding with the last part. When, well, just compared to cat and dog, it was just nothing like what we had. So I think in elementary school, I was only able to be like that because I just wanted to beat someone. And then after that, yeah, art was all I care about at that point. But anyway, back to competition. Squash and I just did this thing with our tongues. Okay, that sounds weird out of context, oh my god. But look, there's this trick you can do where you can fold your tongue like this. It's called the cloverleaf tongue, and he used to do that to me all the time and be like, ha, I bet you can't do this. Eat, I'm better than you. And being the competitive little gremlin I was, of course I had to take his offer and beat him. So I practiced every day until finally. Hey! I'm going to kill! Eh, eh. Yeah, I think I had a problem. But hey, it was all fun and stuff. But the thing is, he had an older brother in fifth grade, fourth grade, I don't remember, who was even worse than Squash in a whole new level. I'm gonna call him Cactus. Compared to Squash, he was a monster to me. Every time I rode the school bus, he and his brother had some kind of drama to start with me. Like, Oh, it was so annoying, and as a feisty first grader, I was not having it. So we would pick fights in the bus until one day. <laughs> you're such a loser. You're so mean. Why are you doing this? <laughs> loser. Uh, you're so annoying. <laughs> I must say, feisty girl. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't quite remember what happened right after I did it. I think the bus driver like got involved or something and he just separated us and we went home right after. So the next day, a lot happened. So before we get started on what I knew, I'm going to refer back to what my mom and I happened to talk about the other day. Apparently, without my knowledge, or at least I don't remember, like this was 10 years ago, give me a break, the principal called my parents that morning and they had a chat with her saying that, oh, it was my fault. And I can imagine, since I went to the principal a lot, he either just assumed or Cactus' parents called her about it. And prior to that, I have informed my parents of him being mean to me in the bus constantly. So when they heard this, they just... <laughs> yeah, they hit it straight for the principal and told them everything about what I told them. And then, right after they left... Yoon, Yoon to the principal's office, please. Oh, oh, you're you're in trouble. Trouble. I'm not in trouble! So as I was walking, all of these thoughts are running through my mind. And then when I walk in... <laughs> Would you please sit down, you? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And as you all know, I'm an easy crier. <laughs> and even as a child, unfortunately. But the thing is, in that particular time, I refused to cry. Yeah, nice one, little me. But I thought the funniest thing was my bully was crying like a little a little baby. <laughs> I mean, I didn't do anything wrong. I just stood up to some fifth grader bully and spat on him like who does he think he is to go making fun of me like that so i heard what happened <laughs> cactus why were you being so mean to you well i just well i was like <laughs> one thing that stood out to me the most was how much he was crying over this the big bad bully that was so mean to me was actually crying like a little ba little baby, little baby. <laughs> like maybe he's an easy crier like me. I don't, I don't know. But just to see my bully in that state, I can't help but to have absolutely no remorse for him and just laugh. But I was really happy to have a memory where I stood up for myself like that when I was young. So yeah. Stand up for yourself, cause you're just as important, and that's, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I just wanted to share a cute little story I had when I was first grade. I don't know, I thought it was like, cute since... Well... <laughs> considering how much I was like, a goody two-shoes most of the time, but then all of a sudden, first grade, I was like... Screw everything! <laughs> I thought it was sweet. And, yeah. You know, um, I don't know, I'm not trying to make this in card too long. Um, I'm going to be going to college soon, actually, so I hope that won't delay on my updates, but I'm sure it kind of will, but I'll do my best to keep posting so it won't hinder anything. And we're really close to 100,000! I'm so excited! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm, we're like almost less than 4,000 away. That's like ridiculous. That's super cool. So, uh, I don't know if you should, if I should do like a little special. I'm not sure what to do. I, I literally just did a 50,000 Q and A special and it's like, Hey, your next milestones here. It's like, well, okay. Uh, I, I just fit. I don't know what to do. <laughs> if you have ideas, maybe leave something or I could just do a little, I don't know. Just, a thank you. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>